Welcome to the conclusion of the 12 days of Christmas movie reviews. Yes, it is almost a month since Christmas happened, so it tells you a lot about what's going on in my life that I couldn't even get 12 days in a row of shooting videos, but hey, now it's day, whatever, 42, I have no clue. But at least you understand my commitment to a series, I wasn't going to not finish it up at some point. So here's the 12th day of Christmas movie reviews as I review Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time. This small business is in danger. There's lots of awkward heterosexuality. And I'm here to review them. Merry Christmas stars Carissa Lee Staples, and she plays Kayla, a former writer now turned business manager for her fiancé, Carlton Wells, who is a well-known director choreographer. And they come back to their hometown of San Francisco, where Carlton will be doing a stage version of The Nutcracker right around Christmas time. But Kayla doesn't feel too excited in her relationship, even though they're engaged, they're back also for an engagement party. Uh, Kayla feels more like a business manager than a fiancé all the time, being pushed around, uh, made to run duties for Carlton. Uh, he's very self-centered, so she's not already feeling like she's enjoying the relationship. After running out of a store when almost purchasing a nutcracker, she ends up in an apartment building where she lunges into the elevator of the apartment building and ends up kissing under the mistletoe Dustin, played by Brant Doherty. The kiss, ooh, it really meant something. And all of a sudden, Kayla starts uh, questioning her relationship with Carlton based off this amazing kiss and the magic of this elevator. As it turns out, uh, her friend Jana is putting together the engagement party and she's gotten a wonderful caterer. Who is that caterer? Ah, uh, Dustin! The man that she kissed in the elevator. So that comes together into a strange coincidence and Really, the rest of the movie is determining, will Kayla leave Carlton for the magic of the elevator and Dustin, someone who believes in her as a writer and as a person? Well, what can you say about Merry Christmas? We've spent 11 days going over the wide variety of different but yet the same approaches in these Christmas movies. And why I enjoy Merry Christmas so much is that it really hits on all of those things. Uh, there's this magic of the elevator, some weird notion that gets presented only in a Christmas movie. We have an unnecessary accent coming from Carlton. Why it's necessary for him to have an odd accent and be self-centered. Uh, no clue as to that. Uh, the weirdness of Kayla turning to some random Santa Claus on the street as a therapist. That guy pops up regularly. Another great Christmas genre. Uh, an amazing guest. This one, Doris Roberts. Uh, she kisses Dustin a lot in the elevator and is like a creepy old woman. And that's a nice paycheck for her at random in this movie. Uh, very hilarious supporting actors. Uh, Jana seems a nice enough friend, but she has some amusing lines, like going like, eh, look at the chemistry there, as she observes them uh, oh, and in a balcony, just having a normal conversation. There's a dude who works at a, a pet adoption center, an animal shelter. Mm -hmm. He is like the funniest, most random, weird dude in the movie and yet somehow has a sexual chemistry, for whatever reason, with uh, Dustin's cousin, who's also Dustin's co-worker in the catering business. So it just, uh, it covers all the realms of this Christmas movie genre that would be enjoyable if you allow yourself to be find these enjoyable 
Is it a good movie in the sense of a good movie? No, obviously not. But in the sense of the cheesiness, uh, not specifically directed to be humor, but humorous uh, type of humor, humorous type of humor? Yeah, whatever, it works for Christmas movies. I'm filming this at three in the morning, so who cares? I don't even care right now about the words I'm saying. Main point, Merry Christmas. For this genre, it's worth your time. There's a decent enough chemistry between the leads. It's amusing in a variety of different ways. And hey, how stupid is it that one kiss in an elevator under a mistletoe means this is the person you're destined to be with for the rest of your life? Sponsored by Zales or Jared or whoever the engagement ring at the end is. Spoiler alert. So on a scale of a partridge in a pear tree to 12 drummers drumming, I give Merry Christmas 11 whatever, what is it? You know, usually I Google to double check the 12 days of Christmas before, but whatever, I'm giving it an 11. You might be saying to yourself, whoa, not a single movie got uh, 12 drummers drumming over the course of the show, and yeah, these movies are not good enough to get 12. But, uh, it's still fun, whatever. Listen, uh, this has been quite the journey. I'm sure I will do it again next year around Christmas time as I enjoy watching these movies. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a safe and wonderful 2021. Uh, like this video, comment on it if you have, or any of the other videos from this series. And please do subscribe. I'll be continuing to make videos throughout the year that are funny and to help you out. So subscribing can only help me. In conclusion, Merry Christmas.